gotta go, I guess we'll just take care of this. So it's gonna come back. They clone Tyrone. They clone Tyrone. Oh, what's going on, Ripples? This is fucking Agent Clyde. And Black Bunny Bay. This I'm a little is... bit tipsy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, same. We just got done watching that Netflix special. They clone Tyrone. They clone Tyrone. Y'all should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Oh, yeah, it's definitely if you like sci fi, you like thrillers, you like cerebral. And you like black movies. Yeah. They had our boy, the the man, the Jedi himself, Mr. John Boyega in it. With Jamie Foxx and Oh, Tiana yeah, Jamie Foxx was in it. And Tiana Paris. And, and she's the one that's going to be the, the she's Princess the, and the Frog, yeah? I think she either was or she's going to be. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have, I haven't researched it, but yeah. All oh, right, right. Oh. But she was, um, you know, she's an up and, she's an actress. She's a very great Great yeah. actress who's around our age demographic, so you know. You don't want to finish that champagne. I mean, you want to finish it. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, go ahead. I'm on a bender. I'm already. I'm on a bender. Seat. Okay, I'm on a bender. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and give our thoughts before we forget about it. The movie overall, solid B plus A minus. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Um, the plot, and I'm not trying to give any spoilers away, but the plot is best. really, really, really good. Um, Plus, why? If you if you're a conspiracy nut, this gonna, is gonna, gonna confirm enjoy. all your conspiracies. Oh yeah, God! Oh God! It, it's it's definitely gonna do it a thing or two. Confirm you, everything you, if you, you've if you, ever if you, thought. If you want your dick to be on hard with conspiracies, it's gonna get it get your clit wet. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm being a little explicit. Right. I guess right. this is gonna be the after hours show. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> this is it's the the complete subtitles and everything in the video is gonna be red. Yeah. To let you know it's. This it's is going to be, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Six Zeros if you guys host this. Hopefully it doesn't violate your, your TOS. Anyway. Hopefully it doesn't violate YouTube's TOS because, you know, they be on some uh, F shit, you well, know? FS, sorry. They mean to curse because, again, they be on the, the BS. Well, look, sometimes. look, look. We're, it, it is what it is. But let's, let's get our thoughts down before we forget. Okay. Because we literally, literally we just, just finished it, it like five minutes ago. So this is fresh off the press. And without too many giveaways, let's just say this. If you had conspiracies about those who are running the world, this movie will help confirm it. Yeah. To let you know who the ones were mm-hmm. running the underground operations. And please think deeply into this. Although, like, sure, the plot is cool, but, like, think a little bit deeper when you watch it, okay? Think just a little bit deeper. Inspired by a retro, futuristic 70s and 80s motif. Based Everything on black exploitation has, films back in those does. days. It does. A little bit of black dynamite, yeah? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, Mike. What the thing is, when you watch it, it's a call-out to 70s and 80s movies, right? Yeah. What happens is you have this bit of a grease filter going on, right? And then all of a sudden you have the main character, which is John Boyega, Mr. Fontaine. He gets, he, he, he has an incident that happens to him that wakes him up to the world around him. Yeah. And then, un, well, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you view it, he is accompanied by a pimp and a hoe. Uh, a John. And his, he is a drug dealer. He's a drug dealer, yeah. We don't so, want to give the plot away too well, much. Well, too much. This that's, is, that's, yeah, that's this is just the... Yeah, don't think we're not... This is not a spoiler, because yeah. this is like... Again, I'm sure Wikipedia has the actual... <laughs> a spoiler on it, you feel me? We really want it, but anyway. Oh, my God. Anyways, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me strike some key points here. They talked about how food is tainted. The music. The music is tainted. The strip clubs. Definitely. The, the liquor stores. Anything in the hood. Anything. If you are a person who lives in the hood, and I come from it. Yeah. You, you, I come seen, from the suburbs, but I'm in yeah. the, I wasn't in the rich part. I wasn't with them rich kids. No. I was in the suburbs, but I was in the poor part of the suburbs. Might as well be a poor so street it's, right. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, the hood light, pretty much. <laughs> Fucking hood light, and then I'm, I'm actual hood. Like in the raw hood. Right. Like. Right. 
so let's 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 get on with, with this. Let's say uh, um, it tells the tale of those who are stuck in this diaspora mm -hmm. and who failed to escape it. But if you manage to sequence break it, you have a chance. You have a chance because this this movie is nothing but about if you sequence break things. Mm -hmm. You have access to new information. Yeah, and I, I liked how in. Um, Excuse one me of if I'm parts, belching in the mic. Sorry. Sorry, it's all good. Yeah. Um, I liked how like towards the end, if you think about it like abstract. I'm gonna let Bonnie have the mic. I have used the train. Sorry. Okay. If you think you about Here's it in mic. an abstract sense. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, how. The sequence is, you know, you can take your power back and use the tools that the the ops are trying to use on you. You can use those same tools on the ops, you feel me? So I kind of like that, you know, the little glimmer of hope that there's there, that's there in the movie doesn't mean that it's real or not real. It's just, you know, it's a cute little plot twist. Um, and then I also... I enjoyed the film because there was a lot of humor in it. I love to laugh, and this movie had a, <laughs> a lot of funny points. Um, it was also kind of like shocking in some ways in terms of how certain things played out uh, and how some people were kind of like following a script that they don't really knew they didn't Your know game. that they were <laughs> they didn't know that they were following so Your they were game. like they were basically NPC characters yeah, and gang Clyde gang. is back so gang gang right so you see how some people were following a certain script a certain storyline NPCs line, NPCs to keep the narrative going keep the continuity right. like, continuity like the, like the bloke that's <laughs> in front of the, mid, the, the liquor store Right, he was always there. The the, the prostitute is working the street one. There's a, yep, and right. then the drug dealer is always yep. going into the yep. liquor store, give, you know, doing his thing and doing whatever he's doing. Trying to get his scratch off with right. a fucking lottery ticket. It and would never went. Never or, works. you know what, I don't want to, again, you guys should watch this movie if you haven't already. Um, I would give it, what, what rating would you give it? Before I okay, it? since it's on Netflix, it's not really like a matinee or... Or a full price, or anything like that. I would say, let's give it a scale of give it your time, don't bother, avoid. Okay. I would say give it your time. Give it your time. So that's, that's the higher our, rating. That, that's our rating right there. Give it your time, don't bother. Actually, I should say, don't bother unless you have the time. Yeah. That way, it's like okay, you kind of know what you're getting to. It's like you don't have to bother with this. Uh huh. But if you decide to, if you got the time, then it's like it's a it's entertainment. At right. The end yeah, of the day. At the end of the day, it is. And then then you have just avoid at all costs. You know. Why like don't watch don't waste your time. This is not. So it would be. You should watch this movie. You should definitely watch this movie. But it's like especially if you are a um, descendant of African Afrikaans. You better watch it. Yeah, if your ancestry is linked to either Africa or dependent well, on, on your ancestry or hold Native on. Even America. White too. No, I'm talking about more recent. I'm not talking about thousands of years ago. I'm talking if your ancestry was recently linked with like, and when I say recent, I'm talking within the last maybe one, two, three generations. Mm. One, two, three. Yeah. If you if you want to be froggy, up to five generations, cool. Five, six, ten, whatever. Maybe not ten, because some people their 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 genetic uh, connection has kind of been washed out. But so yeah, I would say up to like five generations back, if you can definitively tell that you are not uh, of another race, <laughs> probably should watch this. And not no shade to the mixed people or the ambiguous people, whatever you can watch no, this it, too as well, it's, obviously. It's, but this is going to be a little bit more pertinent for it's art entertainment, those of us but it does have a, it, it does have a demographic that it's shooting for. Yeah, and it's quite clear who that demographic is. Yeah, the prompt the problem is that those who are not a part of that demographic they're shooting for, do you understand the concepts at which right. that is trying to display to you, both consciously, subliminally, and those unconsciously? Uh, right, I'm, I'm a little tipsy. I'm not gonna lie. You guys gotta really like think deeply when you watch this movie. Don't just take it. Oh, for face especially value. if it's on Netflix. Pause it. Yeah, pause have a it. discussion. Exactly. It's not in movie theater. You don't. You know. You don't gotta just watch it and digest in one go. You can easily pause it, rewind, 
fast forward, well, I mean, don't fast forward, but like, you know, pause, rewrite, pontificate, ponder, just think about it. Think about like, okay, Let's, if you were in this situation, quote unquote, if you were in this movie, what would you be doing? What character should, would you be playing? We should, we should probably end this quickly because I am a bit, You're definitely a I'm definitely gone. My thing is, that's fine. I'm still cognizant to even present this. Mm -hmm. The point, the, the fact of the matter is, it had a very poignant point about control mechanisms and those who were in control. Mm -hmm. Without spoiling it, you can probably assume with the cast of who the puppet puppeteers would be, um, who's running the show. Mm -hmm. But you'd be surprised on how they handle it and how they escape it. So, to me. It's worth the time. The hour, the well, the movie is two hour and four minutes. Right. I mean, look, yeah. I mean, given the credits and stuff, because the credits alone are like ten minutes long, so it's really like an hour and like mm, an hour and fifty something minutes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah. Overall, the Bonnie and Clyde score is. Out of five stars, what would you give it? Out of five stars, uh -huh. so we're not using verbals like the earlier. Okay, yeah. fine. For verbals. I would say watch it. Don't avoid it. Mm -hmm. For rating. one to five stars, I would say a solid four. Okay. Solid four stars. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you were doing on a scale of one to ten? Now you're just adding scales. I just want everybody to really understand where we're coming from. Okay. So it, it, so it, it it's pretty a, good. It ain't a perfect movie it's by all means. Perfect, of course it not. was missing some plot it, it, some some plot points that were kind of blanked out. It would lead you to your own imagination. Yeah. Which is fine. However, if you're gonna do that, you need to illustrate that this is that type of movie, like you come to your own conclusions. My thing is you were kind of guiding us along the way especially during certain scenes of underground activity, mm -hmm. you let us know, oh, okay, that's, that's what it is. But the thing is, if that's the case, then don't leave it, don't leave us to interpretation throughout the film to be like, oh, that's gonna be the next move, that's the next move. Are we looking at this as pure entertainment or are we looking at this as a statement of fact or are we looking at this as, you know, documentary? Mm -hmm. Spookily, actually. Mm -hmm. This was... To it me, was set in what? This one. They didn't tell the year, but you can kind of tell because he said that he, you know, the one of the other protagonists was talking about he was some some in ninety five. So I'm gonna assume it was based in twenty twenty. Oh, definitely. Oh, keep you this get in what mind. I'm saying? It's definitely future future retro. It's retro. Seventy eighties yes. colors and and aesthetics, and hairstyles, and hairstyles things like that. and cars and things of that nature. But. They are very modern in attempts of how to communicate because the man had a fucking uh, motor. Oh, sorry, um, he had a he had a cell phone. Yeah, he had a Motorola. Flip even phone. it was even though it was a Motorola flip phone, but it was a Motorola Razor flip phone. But so that so I would say because remember when those Motorola flip phones were about popping? That was in the third in the two thousands. So I would say it was probably based as early as eighties, late as two thousand. Well, I, I would say the two thousands. Just because of the phone, because you can still have hairstyles from retro, but you could be living in now, obviously, right? And with the technology that apparently is existing in this movie, I'm gonna say 2000. I mean, the pimp had a cell phone, so. Right. He, if they had a cell phone, they had, you know, it looked like it was like a regular movie that you'd be seeing, like it was based in today. Like, right. let's say this movie, like you're just in another neighborhood down the way. Parallel universe. Yeah. One that is slightly anachronistic, but also contemporary, because yeah. they had flip phones. Right, right. Anyway, I don't want to belabor it. The movie, watch it. If you can afford Netflix, go ahead and get Netflix and watch it, if you can find other means. Figure it out, but Figure you know, out. just make sure you watch this movie, because this is a really good movie. I think a lot of, I think everybody should watch this movie, at least. It is eye-opening in the sense of, you know, who we perceive as what's an enemy, what's not. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, the way how certain things played out, it was like, okay, I could see. Like, yeah. they're definitely not going to come at you blatantly with it, but they're still doing what they're doing, so you should be careful. So, hey, yeah. just take that with a grain of salt. So let's go in here. It's been about almost 14 minutes. 15, so this will be a 15-minute little quick little uh, segment. You know, it is what it is. Quick little review on yeah. the movie. They yeah, clone Tyrone. This, is, this is the Bonnie and Clyde movie review of They Clone Tyrone. Yeah. With no, well, hopefully no spoilers. I don't, there's no spoilers in here. Mm. No. 
And if there are, we apologize in advance, but I'm almost a thousand percent certain that there are no spoilers in here because if you watch the movie, we didn't give away the plot. We didn't give away anything that happened in the beginning, middle, or end. We are telling you kind of like what we saw, and we still have to explain the movie to you, obviously, because how else are you going to know what we're talking about? But it's not a spoiler type of video, so you can still watch right. it and still be pleasantly or unpleasantly surprised at what's Whatever going on. Whatever your flavor. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed it. It was a good movie, and we're about to head out, so we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Yep. Cheers, mates. Bye. Bye.